Welcome to this week's episode of Fix the Photo. Uh, this weekly challenge for our members was photography equipment. Um, plenty of decent entries in on that one. Uh, but there's one in particular that I've selected that I'm going to do a little bit of tweaks and adjustment work on. So uh, this image here is by Naveen Kadam. And I think it's quite a nice attempt on a product shot of a Manfrotto geared head, but um, it's much better on the right hand side of the image. That is over here where we have all this lovely contrast and it's a little bit weak on the left hand side of the image. So we're just going to get an adjustment layer, curves adjustment layer. I'm going to pull the highlight end of that curve in considerably to lift up that left side. You can see it's obviously lifted up the right side as well. That doesn't matter. We're then going to invert that mask. I'm then going to get a white paintbrush at around 50% this time and make sure it's a soft brush. And I'm going to brush up. Now I want the brightest light to be the top. So I'm going to keep painting the 50% on top of that. So we end up building up to almost 100%. But then I can just give it one scoot on the underside. So the top side remains or looks brighter than the bottom side. So brightening up that area here and then just maybe half a scoot underneath there. And then I'm going to drop the opacity a little bit more and see like that area on the stem could be lifted. That area coming into here, I feel could be a little bit stronger. And, you know, you can just use that as a burn and dodge tool, essentially, to see if you want to lift up any other areas of the shot or pull in any more uh, slightly brighter highlights. Now, of course, I can't take that any higher on that side unless I now go into the curve and I pull the curve up further. So again, we can adjust the curve further if we need to. So I am going to pull it in that little bit further to get that little bit of extra contrast. Now, additionally, whilst that has improved the shot dramatically over on that side, maybe I've done a little bit too much, so I'm gonna go back to black paint, paint that out a little bit on that side. So while that's improved the shot dramatically, uh, predominantly on the left as we wanted, notice the base plate isn't separated from the background very well. Um, now, if we look at that, that's just a simple line down the side there. So if we just create a new layer, then I'm going to sample that color and then I'm just going to paint that on a new layer with a very small brush and even if it's not 100% accurate, take that up to 100%. So even if it's not 100% accurate, I'm going to run that brush from there to over here to create a fake edge like I've done there. Oops, that was a little bit off. Let me bring that to there to create a fake edge. Now that edge is too strong, but remember it's on a separate layer, so we can adjust the opacity of that down a little bit, and that's all we need to do to create the edge. So you can see from that was where we started. Let me just make the image a little bit bigger for you. So that's where we started, and that's where we finished up. Very simple techniques uh, that make a huge difference, and it's very important when you're looking at your photos to really concentrate on whether the hero of the image is standing out from the image, not just part of it, but all of it. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Fix the Photo. If you'd like to enter some of our weekly photo challenges, our photography briefs, and our photography critiques, head over to carltaylereducation.com. Thanks for watching.